Where is this Yakubovich? Where are you at? I can't see you. Let's spy on that guy really quick. Let's spy on that guy. Who is that guy right there? Let's spy on him. <laughs> Let's spy on that guy. Ah! <laughs> Sheesh! My man! How are you? God damn, bro! I'm so no see! My dude! How you doing? Oh, man! man. It's a yeah. Man. Leo Yakubovich! I miss this guy! <laughs> Amazing! Yeah, it's been a while, bro. Crazy Leonid. <laughs> Yeah, I miss this car too. It's awesome. Dude, it's awesome. Keeping me sane, man. Amazing. If I didn't have this car, I'd be going nuts. You remember my my buddy's car, the 525? I drove that car. It's also a stick shift, and it just these cars just makes you make you like want to just give them the beans, and you know, there's so much fun. Even with not much power, it makes you just yeah. keep wanting to push it and push it. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> the shit key is That's dope. Because the offset sucks on them, so I got to add the put the spacer. You know, it looks good. It looks good with a spacer. I think, I think if you add the spacers to the back, I think it's you know, going to look nice. There's spacers in the back too, but I needed, I had another set of spacers, but the uh, extended lug studs I got were uh, yeah. in the wrong thread. Really? So I had to, I never got a chance to put them on, but no. like, damn. Could be worse. That's cool. Well, I guess we're still waiting on Beamer, boys. Because that E34 is a little lonely right there. <laughs> Poor baby. This looks so out of place. <laughs> yeah. The, the flat, like the... A lot of beast, huh? Mm, At least a lot of space. Yeah. Nice. Like we got like a hammer next. 
something. Huh? I don't know, there's like, I don't know what that big piece, it looks like an axe uh, <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it. What the fuck with me? Nice <laughs> wheels. Colorful 80s. I gotta. I love this thing. In the oil crisis in the 90s. Mm. Surprisingly, Germans did all right. Yeah, it's so gaps. cool. Let's Americans look at this car a little more. Dude, I'm just like, whoa, that's so sick. Yeah, it is nice. I love that. <laughs> I, my, I think probably honestly my favorite car that I've seen here is probably this black one. That one? It's really cool, yeah. The tan and the black, the gold, the stick shift, mm -hmm. the interior, the recovery. It's seat. like, it's done perfectly. Come on. Yeah. Like, that looks so sick. It is sick. <laughs> nice, beautiful. I love the way that looks. It's so damn cute. It looks like folded, you know what I mean? Because look at yeah. all this bondo here. That's why I haven't bothered to even fix it or, yeah. or primary it because I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So Get a I different have a, hood. I have a whole We come to the car meet, but we admire our own car. <laughs> Monster. <Duh. laughs> it is. I mean, that's, that's all it really was. That's why I like this trend now of having all these over expensive, like factory new cars. It's just yeah. really nice. Me neither. I just think they're cool. See what I love about old school cars? Bless you. <laughs> salute, Leonid. Salute, salute. Thank you, thank you, thank but you. what I love about 80s cars is like, and 90s cars is just everything is so colorful, you know? They used to like think about how many like different options of colors you could choose from and interiors and all that. Like, it's not the same anymore, unfortunately. No, oh, that is really cool. Everything, everything is some kind of shade of gray now. Yeah, yeah, it maybe, is. Maybe yeah. a little bit of like fragile. Oh yeah, bro, that's that looks pretty good. That doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, so I, I like took it. the factory vacuum line. I made yeah. sure that was there. And this goes. Bro, that the looks research. good. You know that having these filters it also like helps with the you know engine noise. It's, it sounds yeah. really cool. Yeah. That's one of the reasons uh, I wanted it too. That's why it sounds so good. Man, I love how like everything is simple here and easy to get to. That's awesome. I got we need to shot. we need to sand down this rust, bro. Yeah. If you want, I'll do it. I have I have. If you have sand, that. we just need the sandpaper. I got that. Dude. Some touch of paint. Right, my storage unit's a mess, but it's. It's okay. Somewhere. It's all right. Oh wait, this just came off. Oh yeah, it just slides back on. They're, they're junk. Like that. Just some love, little by little, you know. Yeah. It's a good car. Right, everything is easy to get to, and like that's so cool. I've done already a lot, you know. Valve cover, gasket, radiator is like also gasket, like newer, yeah. Brand new radiator, because this fucking you replaced thing, it or it was already replaced? I replaced okay. it. I replaced it. This yeah. thing grenaded itself, oh. dented my hood in two spots. Like, look, and I showed oh this. no, look really? Oh crap! All I did was like I was in Lincoln Park Zoo and it was cold outside. Yeah. I, was, I revved the uh -huh. engine. All I heard was bam, and I'm like, what the fuck was oh, that? No. It sounded like someone threw a sheet of ice in my car. Oh my so god. Loud. I, Wait, so like the whole fan clutch just like grenaded or what? Yeah. Or just the, the the fan blades like it, the fan clutch sees it, the fan blades grenaded themselves. That's crazy. And then the, the these fan blades shot into here. Did it uh, give you any like uh, signs of no? Like, failure? It was so spontaneous. Like I've never seen that. I've never had that happen before. But that's what the problem with these fan clutches. If you don't replace them, uh -huh. you you have to replace them every like hundred k. Well, we had a little bit of fun, not too much, because they didn't have many uh, any Euro cars besides this one. I'm surprised, bro, because it's... I heard this meet in like two different Beamer groups. Yeah. I didn't see anyone show up. That's crazy. <laughs>
My man, you showed them all. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs>